This week on Sailing by Felicia, we pull anchor at Great Sail K, cruise to Foxtown, put our dinghy back in the water, reassemble the outboard engine, and cruise in for some provisions. After that, we go spearfishing for the poisonous lionfish and learn how to prepare it and eat it for the very first time. The jib is up, but I want to go that way. I'm going to turn the stern of the boat through the wind, which is a little different than tacking. Let's jive the jib. Let's try it out. So we're sailing almost directly downwind. The sail is flirting, throwing itself to the other side. Who's that for? Sun is setting. We're just now getting to the anchorage at Foxtown. We sailed all the way here. It was awesome. It's a pretty sketchy anchorage with a lot of rocks, so we're motoring in as we lose daylight. We are now anchored outside of Foxtown. So all we gotta do now tomorrow is go in and get some provisions. How are you feeling about our anchor? Um, I don't know. Try it out. This is Foxtown. You can definitely hear the church bells and the top of the hour. It's kind of quaint. This black line is our spinnaker halyard. We currently don't have a spinnaker on board, so that's going to be basically a spare halyard. You see the dinghy. The black line is right here. It goes up to the top of the mast, down to the base of the mast, and then it's redirected. Here. So if we pull on this line here, it pulls the dinghy up. Alright, Lisa, will you finish winching? I'm gonna go up front and guide it in.
why I'm working. You ready? My alarm just went off too. It's really helpful if you're sleeping and a storm happens and you're dragging. Or if you're really paranoid that you're dragging and you're certain you are, and you have this, I would tell you that you're not. That you need to just chill out. <laughs> Out there. I think this is the fuel box somewhere in here, one of these docks. I think we can get in. What a surprise rock, please. It's only guesswork from here on out. Any of the waters that I've been in before are behind us and we're not going back. Okay. We're only going forward. our propane tanks but they told us it was going to be a couple of days until they could help us out. We settled for an awesome seafood lunch and a couple of local beers. The next day, Lisa and I felt inspired to go get our own seafood dinner. What's on the menu? The poisonous lionfish. Before people get upset about spearfishing lionfish, it's important everyone knows that the lionfish is an invasive species and should not be in this environment. People are encouraged to kill as many as possible to help protect the local ecosystem. This is a three foot pole spear. It has three tips on the front to pierce the fish, a couple of barbs so it doesn't get off. It has a surgical tubing rubber band. Let's pull your hand up like this, and then when you let go, the energy shoots through the fish. So this is our lion fish tamer. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Let's go do it. Is it gonna be cold? <laughs> oh no. Looks like we got some weather rolling in. Good thing I wore my ring here. This is fun. two to make a dinner. I saw another one in here, I think. I'm gonna go try to take one more out.
shot it in the tail and it shook off. It didn't move at all until I was halfway back to the middle. <laughs> Lionfish are an invasive species. They don't belong in this environment. They don't have any predators, so their numbers can't be kept in control. You need to remove as many of them as possible. They're very poisonous. They have poisonous spines on their top, on their side, and on their back. So all the ones on the top, poisonous. I believe this one and this one, poisonous. And I believe these here. What if the poison touches the tongue, then what? I don't know. Any of the fins that would have the poison, they have it on the tip. So I'm just going to take off all of the fins except for the tail. I didn't even cut off the tail, it's just out of paranoia. These for sure are the main ones on the top. And I think this guy on the bottom right here, that little one you don't want to get touched by. This is an early little effort. That one would be painful. Even when it's cut off, it's to be avoided. I think the tail is totally fine, but just because of my first one cooking it, I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't want to get poked. How do I clean the board and the scissors and stuff? That's a good question. We'll be Googling that in the very near future. I don't think... So I think the problem with the, the spines is that it penetrates your skin and then it introduces the poison. So I don't know if it would cause any tracing just to touch. So it's no longer poisonous now, right? Correct. So now we play it just like a regular fish. Who plays? Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Made some fancy ramen. I fried the lionfish here. Then I'm just gonna slice up some cabbage and a little bit of onion. And that's my fancy ramen. Mm, looks amazing. Mm. I the fish tastes really good. Ah, the poison got me. It's really good. Tastes like any other really light, white, flaky fish. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up below. If you'd like to support our channel, check out our Patreon page. We'll put a link in the description below.